Good day, grade 8 students. Welcome back to English class. Last time, you learned how to write an informative essay. Its primary objective is to provide useful and organized fact or information on a particular topic. Before we start to discuss our new lesson for today, let me first ask you this question. What are good ways of getting the meaning of difficult or unusual words in sentences? Probably, for you, looking for the meaning in dictionary is one of the ways. You are right, but have you ever observed that the meaning is already stated in the sentence? So today, we are going to discuss all about context clues. So do you have any idea about context clues? At the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify the four common types of context clues. Extract meaning through context clues. Construct sentences using the given unfamiliar words. And lastly, cite the importance of context clues in reading and speaking. So let us now define context clues. These are hints found within a sentence, paragraph, or passage that a reader can use to understand the meanings of new or unfamiliar words. As a reader, you must be aware that the words have several possible meanings. The clue may appear within the same sentence as the word to which it refers, or it may follow in a preceding sentence. So there are four common types of context clues. The synonym, antonym, example, and explanation. So let us start with synonym. Words with the same meaning are provided in the sentence or in the following sentence. For example, the society expects opulent personalities, those who are rich and wealthy, to do charitable works. The unfamiliar word is opulent, so what do we think is the meaning of this word? In this sentence, the words rich and wealthy are synonyms of the word opulent. Another example, Bill felt remorse or shame for his harsh words, so the word shame is the synonym of the word remorse. It was an idyllic day, sunny, warm, and perfect for a walk in the park, so here, the words sunny, warm, and perfect are synonyms of the word idyllic. Therefore, it simply means that it was a peaceful day. So as you notice, there is a signal word that informs you that a synonym may come up. So in these examples, the word or is the signal word. Next, Garrett was lethargic. He didn't have the energy to get out of bed. So what do you think lethargic means? The clause he didn't have the energy to get out of bed implies that lethargic means tired or sleepy. The dates are listed in chronological order. They start at the beginning and end with the last event. Thus, chronological means the sequence of time from the earliest to the most recent. How about this one? Dr. Lee's writing was utterly illegible. No one could read those scribbles. So what do you think is the meaning of the word illegible? No one could read implies that illegible means unreadable. The crime he committed was egregious. He'll never recover from this dreadful scandal. The word dreadful is the synonym of the word egregious, and it means horrifying. The second type of context clue is the antonym. Words with the opposite meaning are provided in the sentence or in the following sentence. For example, instead of continuing their opulent lifestyle, some millionaires prefer to live in underprivileged and disadvantaged societies. So here, the words underprivileged and disadvantaged are opposite terms of the word opulent. Next, although some men are loquacious, others hardly talk at all. So what do you think is the antonym of the word loquacious in the sentence? The phrase others hardly talk at all is the opposite of the word loquacious which means Talkative. Be careful driving when the road is wet and hazardous. It is only safe when it is dry. So here, 
the word safe is the opposite term of the word hazardous, which means risky or dangerous. Another example, she was virtuous unlike her evil and conniving brother. So what do we think are the opposite words in this sentence? The words evil and conniving are opposite terms of the word virtuous, which means righteous. Next, Marty is gregarious unlike his brother who is quiet and shy. So what do we think is the meaning of the word gregarious? The words quiet and shy are the opposite terms of the word gregarious, which means friendly. So as you notice, there is also a signal word in these sentences, which is the word unlike. So now, let's proceed to example as a context clue. Examples to unlock the meaning of the difficult word are provided. Terms like such as, including, and for example, help the readers to be informed that examples are given. For example, Opulent personalities such as Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg are known for making substantial money. The name Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg are examples of opulent or rich individuals. He was suspended from his school because of several infractions of the rules, including smoking in the bathroom and dressing improperly. So what do you think is the meaning of the word infractions? Smoking and dressing improperly are examples of the word infractions, which means violations. How about this one? Celestial bodies such as the sun, moon, and stars are governed by predictable laws. So what do you think is the meaning of the word celestial? The examples provided such as the sun, moon, and stars implies that celestial relates to the outer space. How about this? Pedagogical institutions including high schools, kindergartens, and colleges require community support to function efficiently. So what do you think is the meaning of the word pedagogical? From the examples given, pedagogical simply relates to teaching or education. Ecclesiastics such as priests, ministers, and pastors should set models of behavior for their congregants. From the given examples, ecclesiastic relates to Christian church or its clergy or members. The last type of context clue is known as explanation. The difficult word is explained, defined, or described. For example, opulent personalities are those who have a richly abundant supply of resources. A richly abundant supply of resources is the explanation for the word opulent. Next, the patient is so somnolent that she requires medication to help her stay awake for more than a short time. So what do you think is the meaning of the somnolent? The need for medication is described for the word somnolent, which means sleepiness. How about this one? Marta is a curator, a person who is responsible for looking after a museum's collection. Here, the word curator is defined, and it simply means manager. Another example, the chrome is starting to corrode. It shows signs of pitting and being eaten away gradually. So what do you think is the meaning of the word corrode? The word corrode is described in this sentence. Thus, corrode means to destroy or to weaken. A chemical bond is a strong force that holds two or more atoms together. How about this one? What do you think is the meaning of the chemical bond? Here, it is being defined as a strong force that holds two or more atoms together. It's easy, right? Now, you have an idea on how to decode the meaning of the difficult words. Now, it is your turn. So let's try this. The girl who used to be very vociferous doesn't talk much anymore. So what type of context clue was used? The sentence shows contrast. Thus, it is an antonym and vociferous means talkative. His pertinacity or stubbornness is the cause of most of his trouble. So what type of context clue was used? 
And what do you think is the meaning of pertinacity? The signal word or signifies that pertinacity and stubbornness are synonym. How about this one? Because the conflagration was aided by the wind, it was so destructive that every building in the area was completely burned to the ground. So what do you think is the meaning of conflagration and what type of context clue was used? Here, conflagration is being described as destructive and it had burned the buildings. Thus, conflagration means fire. Next, the animals feed on grasses, leafy plants, shrubs, and other vegetation. So this sentence shows example. And with the given examples, we can say that vegetation talks about plants in general. That's great! So before we end our lesson for today, let's sum up. So what are context clues again? Context clues provide further information about a word or phrase that helps readers understand its meaning. These clues offer insights, either directly or indirectly, into the portion of a text that's difficult to understand. So that ends our lesson for today. If you have questions, please send a message at my.whiteimbreza at gmail.com. Have a great learning day!